All right, so we're going to do a quick team recap here before the battle begins. Uh, we are bringing uh, Great Tots, a.k.a. The Boulder. Uh, our boy is coming. Uh, I decided, basically, uh, on this set, if he brings... It, it, it's more of a if he brings sun kind of set, you know? Because if he brings sun, we rabbit spin once and we outspeed most of his team. <laughs> uh, headlong rush and close combat almost kill every time. Knockoff is just good to have. Uh, and he's holding the soft sand because the boulder is here. Uh, and the boulder is not scared of hitting anything with a headlong rush unless it's a mini orc. And that is it. Uh, and if mini orc comes out, we just click close combat. Um, because I don't think it ever outspeeds. Like... Minior's base speed is 60. Uh, Tots base speed is 87. So, like, I'm not terribly worried. Uh, and the worst thing he could honestly do to me is click me with air slash or a fucking acrobatics. Which, I don't know what flying moves Minior's gets. So, maybe that's something I should look up. Uh, <laughs> we have Ravambi. Uh, we went ahead and went Terra Water. Um... And the whole reason for that, and we have a focus sash, the whole reason for that is just purely it just fucks his team. Uh, we are max speed, max uh, speed attack, or almost max speed attack, Some, somewhere around that range. We're, we're, we're a good amount of speed. We're 104 speed, 108 HP, 2 v 2 attack. Uh, we get one or two quivers up and we kind of sweep his team. Uh, one quiver is fine, two quivers is ideal. We can get two quivers. Uh, that's what the sash is for. If rocks aren't up, he swaps out on a quiver. We quiver again. We kind of just do the damn thing, you know? It, it kind of It's kind of over from there. Uh, Terra Water Ravambi is absolutely insane. Uh, did great in the mock battle that I did. And yeah, that's that's what we're rocking on Ravambi. Uh, we're bringing Ogre Pawn Hearthflame. Now, this is probably the last time Ogre Pawn is going to come. Because we made some trades, which I will reveal <laughs> uh, after this battle and it goes through. Um, but he has U-turn, play rough, Ivy Cultural, and Brick Break. Uh, he has a, he's a weird set. He doesn't do much this battle. And he's purely a fit on the team, purely because I had nothing else to really put on. And I realized that while building for this team, because my fire weakness is absolute dick. <laughs> it's bad. It's really bad. So, uh, Oni is only going to be here one time. That's it, unfortunately. I really wanted Ogre Pond Water. Really wanted it. I didn't get it. Uh, but he's really honestly here to hit maybe with a play rough. Uh, if we do see, um, what is it, the Walking Wake come out? Like, I don't think Walking Wake's gonna come, but it could come. Uh, so he's max B to outspeed, or, or A speed to outspeed, max speed Walking Wake. And then... He just kind of clicks play rough, honestly. <laughs> he just kind of clicks play rough. And uh, our Ivy Cultural is always going to be fire, so it didn't matter there. Uh, and I brought Brick Break because I looked at the team and was honestly kind of scared of screens. Um, screens could be a real problem. Espeon can just set up two screens at the start of the match, and it could be a real problem for me. Uh, and I think having something with Brick Break is, yes, uh, very weird. I'm weird for that, indeed. <laughs> But, you know, I'd rather be prepped than not prepped. And since Ogre Pond really isn't doing much else but U-turning and clicking Brick Break uh, and Play Rock, I'm, I'm prepped. So that's the reason why we have Brick Break. Uh, up next, we have the bundle, Iron Shady. Uh, our boy is Char Choice, blah, 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 Choice Scarfed. Jesus Christ, I can't talk. Uh, our boy is Choice Scarfed. And uh, man, oh man, he just kind of fucks. Uh, freeze dry is literally here only for the walking wake. If walking wake comes with a scarf in the sun, even though I have sun and I go crazy in sun too, uh, walking wake in the sun is fucking wipes my entire team. It's insane. Uh, there's literally almost nothing I can do. Except for bundle. If bundle will force it out every time, we have flip turn, hydro pump, chilling water, and freeze dry. Uh, chilling water just because I'm weird. Uh, he doesn't have crazy amount of physical attackers, but like. I, you know, if I can get one uh, chilling water off, like, on an extra drill if I see it, which I doubt it, or if he decides to bring physical mini ore, then, you know, it's there. Uh, otherwise, we're clicking Hydro Bomb every time. Uh, but that's our bundle. And then we have the boy knackle this sack. 
Uh, of course, he's going to have that purifying salt. Uh, and, you know, honestly, man, it's it's he's just kind of here, brother. Uh, he has Stealth Rocks, all cure, Recover, and Stone Edge. He's really just here to be a rocker and flex all cure uh, and be a wall. He does, in fact, take good amount of damage from Chiyu. Eats that shit. When I say he eats that shit, he eats that shit with the Eviolite, man. He is crazy bulky, uh, which is fantastic. He, he really only has one job. Uh, and I and I know, I know, he's not Terra, okay? I get it. But look, he doesn't need to be Terra. He's doing another job. He's here doing a job, and that's the only job I need him to do is to take some hits, click recover, click some salt cures, and get rocks up. All right? And if he does that without Terra, that's all I need him to do. I don't need him to do anything else. I don't need him to stall. Uh, I mean, I could be that guy, but I just don't need him to do it. Anyway, that is our knackle. And then we're bringing Reva's room, uh, aka Reva Zoom. I'm not. I'm gonna get caught up on that. Uh, we do have filter, uh, but we also have an aqua berry. Uh, and uh, let me tell you that the fucking <laughs> overheat from Chiyu is the biggest roll imaginable. It is a roll, uh, but we can live it. It is possible for us to live. Uh, so we might be on the cusp, just barely able to kill with a high horsepower, if we have a shift gear up. Even if we don't have a shirt gear up, we might be able to live in overheat. Might be able to live in overheat and click high horsepower. So, Chiyu is probably going to be scouted with Knackle uh, to see what's up. Because this thing is probably going to be able to outspeed it every time. Most likely, unless it's Scarfed, which I doubt it will be. If it is, then it is. Um, I don't see him running speed in Chiyu, but he could. He could run off his bits of Chiyu, and if he outspeeds me then i just get the high horsepower off and it's then super low uh and honestly we just want you dead so that's all really that matters but knack will probably just be here to scout uh and click uh salt gear and stone edge hopefully he doesn't do crazy amounts of damage to knackle so we don't have to just sack knackle that would really suck but he uh, from what my calcs he should be a three ko every time so we, we were chilling <laughs> uh but yeah we got shift gear high horsepower toxic spikes and iron head I originally had Gunk Shot on this set, and I was really looking over his team, and the only thing that does not get hit with Toxic Spikes is the Minior and the Escadro. And his Extra Drill is his removal. So if he decides not to bring Extra Drill and he has no removal for the Toxic Spikes and the Spell Drops, it's a lot of extra damage. Uh, so yeah, we brought Toxic Spikes. I, I think it's just a better set. And then Iron Head is obviously for Kaflable. I do not bring this thing out until Cafable is dead. Uh, or I just bring it out on Cafable to die. Uh, we also have the Aquabara for Cafable just in case it has Flamethrower because Cafable can just have a fire move and that shit's annoying. But yeah, he's here to kill, kill Cafable, basically. Uh, and I will know if the Cafable is uh, one set, one ability or the other, depending on if it gets poisons or whatever the fuck, where rocks come out, you know? I can I can scout it also with Knackle, with Salt Cure, because it will not take damage other than from the initial Salt Cure. But I can also scout Clefable with that. But yeah, Clefable could be one or two sets. Uh, if it's unaware, we'll know, and if it's Magic Guard, we'll know. Uh, if it's not unaware, we kind of bull. Um, if it's Magic Guard, we might be kind of in trouble, because Clefable's bulky, and it just kind of runs my team a little bit um like i can kill it but after we kill it it's it's gonna be rough it's it's really gonna be rough clefable is a big fucking wall and it does not go down to my team that well uh there are there are just some mons that can just take out clefable like really hit it hard we just don't have those i have a more rounded team to do a lot of things and like we just don't have <laughs> the facilities so he originally had gunk shot to make sure we like Almost took out Clefable, but I went ahead and opted for Iron Head Shift Gear because we can just do the same thing. Um, and if he's not Magic Guard, then it won't matter. If he's unaware, then this is our answer to Clefable every single time. And then we can also just go out to uh, probably bundle and clean up the Clefable. So it's, it's not a terribly big deal, but it's a little scary. Anyway, on with the battle. Okay. All right. He's back. We're gonna try this again. Hi. We're gonna try this again, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Man, 
Uh, go. Man has literally <laughs> been in the thick of it. He had to react a switch. Uh, he's using his kid switch. Yao has level 100 bonds. <laughs> it's it's been it's been a time. It's been a time. Anyway, uh, we're here. We're vibing. We're chilling. Uh, I think we should start with Knackle uh, and go from there. I know he started with Torko last time, but I think that was just purely because he picked. Uh, I think we start with Knackle. Uh, regardless of what he starts with, it should be fine. I am kind of worried about something coming out right out of Torkoal. <sighs> Victory Bell could come out. Man, he, he did bring the fucking Walking Wake. That's horrifying. That's that's horrifying. He just does not care that I have a sun guy. And that's the worst. <laughs> that's honestly the worst, dude. Okay. Hopefully this goes well. Oh man, I'm just glad we're getting this battle done. Jesus, this this took us way too long to get set up. And we're in a different place. <laughs> All right. Here we go, baby. Here we go. All right, so, uh, I'm kind of worried about Walking Wake just coming in. Uh, my, my guess is that he'll probably just go into Victory Bell. So, I'm gonna click Stealth Rock. If he goes into Walking Wake, he got me. He got me for sure. Okay. So, what is he going for here on this Torkoal? That's what I want to know. I really don't know what... Torko gets Stealth Rock? Oh, I think he might get Rabbit Spin, too. Oh, yikes. Yikes, that's not amazing for me. I'm pretty I'm pretty confident just staying in and Salt Curing. All right, so what is he going to do back? Rapid Spin? Oh, he's just going to get rid of them immediately. He's just going to get rid of them immediately. Are we just gonna sit here? I mean, we could we could just sit here. He's not gonna want this Torkoal to go down though. I'm just gonna click rocks again. He can swap in something for free though. Maybe I should have salt cured again. Oh, please don't go out into wake right now. I'm really scared of Scarf Wake, dude. That shit destroys my team. It could be really bad for me. All right, he preserves, he preserves. That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> he literally told me this thing was named Guck Guck. <laughs> or Gluck Gluck. <laughs> bro, knackle these knucks and Gluck Gluck, bro. They are out here, man. All right. I was not expecting him to bring this thing. Uh, I think my play is always Oni. He could just sludge bomb. <sighs> That's not great. He could just sludge bomb. Could I just go into Rever Room? I mean, I outspeed with Oni. Oni isn't doing much anyway. I'm just gonna go into Oni. If he sludge bombs, he sludge bombs. I on I think I'm honestly just at that point. If he sludge bombs, he sludge bombs. There's there's not much else Oni's gonna do here. This might kill though. This definitely might kill. He has growth. I'm sorry. You want to run that one by me again? All right. Ivy Cudgel in the sun does crazy damage. We've established this. We we have established this. Uh. All right. So Ivy Cudgel, if he wants to bring out, like, what would he bring out here? Chiyu or Torkoal? We'll say Torkoal, sure. If he wants to bring out Torkoal. I think Cudgel does crazy damage still. I think I'm just gonna U-turn. He's... How fast is Victory Bell? What? I was not expecting that thing to outspeed me. What? How fast is Victor? Let's say base 70 speed. 
Oh, he's chlorophyll. Oh my god, man. That was the biggest throw of my life. That was actually the biggest throw of my life. Oh my god, man. That's rough for me. That's very bad for me. Alright, I guess we have to go into Abbey now. The real question is, can I live a Sludge Bomb? I don't think I can. I think I had to double swap out. Which means Abby's sash is just going to be broken. So I'm just going to go in the Rebel Room until this fucking sun is gone. Oh, man. This is the worst, dude. This is the worst. Alright, the sun should disappear. Didn't go away. Alright, I'm going to shift here. Oh, he has Weather Ball! What the fuck? Alright, well, I lit this, right? Oh my god. I'm gonna get cooked by a victory bell, man. That's crazy. So he's probably Weather Ball, Weather Ball, Sludge Bomb, Leaf Storm. Do I even live a plus one Leaf Storm on Great Tusk? Is it even possible? Is it even possible to live? Or he could just have Solar Beam. No. I always die. I have to go into Shady and pull 3 strike. God, he has the Heat Rock. Yeah, I, I think I'd lose to this. Man, it was a great battle while it lasted. That, that sucks. I guess I should have Terra Watered there. <sighs> we kill though. That that really sucks. I just threw away two of my Mons. I don't think we're gonna recover from that. I don't think we're gonna recover from that at all. Now he just goes back up to Torkoal. Oh, it's not great for me, man. It's not great for me. Very bad. It is what it is. This is at the point we're at. Yep, goes in Torkoal. He's gonna take rock damage. He rapids here. He rapids here. So I'm gonna go into the boulder. And I'm gonna have to figure this out. Alright. Headlong Rush does kill from what I'm looking at. Even if he's like max defenses. So I guess we'll we'll go from there. Alright, so if he swaps into whatever, right? I'm gonna rapid spin here. He doesn't have a he doesn't have a ghost type on his team right now. In general. His best swaps is probably the Walking Wake, and then he's probably just going to take it away with that, most likely. Because I, I don't think I do enough to Walking Wake, man. Like, at all. Ah. Uh. Hydro Steam will just kill me. I never kill with Hulk. Headlong Rust. Oh, he goes in the Space Jam? I know he sent me his Terra type. He's Terra Flying. So he's Terra Blast Flying on this. For the Tusk. Does that kill me? Does that kill me? Flying, Teratas, Flying, Acrobatics. Doesn't look like it does. I just CC here, yeah? Close combat might not kill, actually. Jesus Christ. 
I kind of want to stay in. But also, I'm not sure. Like, I kind of have to stay in. I'm going to knock off and see what happens. I should outspeed. All right, he's going to Terra Flying. I just want to see how much knockoff does. So CC's never going to kill now, which is fine. Okay, close combat now does enough. All right, this acrobatics shouldn't. Oh my God, but it does a lot of damage. And now it shields down. Okay. Uh... Pokemon has higher attack. That doesn't mean it'll kill me. It's close combat should take it out from this range. Knock off. If I knock off again, I also could kill it. I'm gonna CC. CC is a guaranteed kill. I don't trust knock off. It says it'll kill, but I don't know this guy's defenses. It's looking like it's uh, it's max HP or something. We're both two mons down, but my tusk is damaged, man. I think Tusk is just gonna have to sit here and take whatever comes out. That's the big problem. All right, Wake is here. Wake is here. That is what I was worried about. All right, the real question is, is this thing scarred? It also could just be plus speed, which is not great. Uh, Headlong Rush does the most damage. I kind of want to knock off, though. If I knock off, right? If I knock off, then if it's scarfed, I won't get screwed, question mark? Because nothing's going to take the Hydro Steam. I have to knock off. I have to knock off. He is, he is scarfed. He is... Oh my god, is he Scarf Sun? It's gotta be. And I think I lose to that now. Alright. Alright. Uh, Ravambi's probably not gonna live this. I never live a Dranko. So if he Dranko's here, he he got me. But I live everything else. This is the only thing I can do. If he kills this, I, I, I'm i cooked. I don't know. I should have gone in a bundle. I don't know why I went into this. This was probably a dumb idea. Probably should have gone in a bundle here. I probably should have gone in the bundle here. Rough for me, man. This is rough for me. This has been a rough first week. Oh, he withdrew. Okay. Oh, really? All right. That plus one. How much am I doing? Air Blast always kills. And I think I can take another one. Or take a move from this thing. I don't think Chiyu gets anything that could hurt me specifically. I'm gonna go and look at Chiyu's moves that I can get. Uh, let me see. Let me look at its moves. I don't think Dark Pulse will do enough. I don't think this thing gets anything to hurt me enough. Dark Pulse only does 79. Well, that might do enough to me, actually. It's choice specs. Yikes. I think I have to Terra Blast here. Uh-oh. If this thing has any HP, 
It could live. I think we're also in the sun right now. I have I have to quiver again. I'm gonna quiver again. Oh, don't kill me with Dark Pulse. Please don't kill me with Dark Pulse. Don't be Choice Specs. If you're not Choice Specs, you don't have a chance to kill me. Oh, that might kill, that might kill, that might kill, that might kill, that might kill. Oh, it doesn't kill! Oh, let's fucking go. Okay. I think Terra Blast and the Sun now kills. It does not. It does not kill. Fuck. 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 Um. Because the Sun is up. For one more turn, I think Terra Blast. Yeah. Bug Buzz and Moon Bl I, I have to Moon Blast here. Ah, oh, damn it, man. And it doesn't kill. Motherfuck. That really sucks for me, man. That really sucks for me. And my other sweeper's down. And my other sweeper's down. Alright, I can go into Knackle here, though. I can go into Knackle here, though, and take a hit. Salt Cure will always kill. But I can just click it. Uh, and whatever he swaps into is getting Salt Cured. His Minior's down and his thing's down. So the only thing he has right now is Clefable. His best swap is Clefable, so we'll see if it is, in fact, um, Magic Guard. Which it probably is going to be. Yeah, he's going to go in Clefable. Which we've, we've lost be, uh, to the Clef Oh, no, he goes in Gimbal. Is he not Magic Guard? Is he not Magic Guard? Or is he just setting up the Drought for the... I think he's just setting up the Drought. I'm going to go into Iron Shady. If he clicks Overheat right now, he got me. But I haven't made any swaps at all, really, when he's making a swap. So I think I can bring this back if I play it right. Uh-oh. He did not swap. He did not. He did not swap. He clicked Overheat, didn't he? No, he did! <gasps> oh! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> Speed was heightened. Okay, so this, this, okay, hold on. So Iron Shady, Iron Shady is here. And then we have uh, Walking Wake. Okay, you would be max speed at plus one. I just outspeed. I'm gonna freeze dry. I don't think he knows I'm scarfed. From my calc, I outspeed right now. Unless I'm crazy. So, unless he's scarfed. Mmm! Mmm, baby! And I think a double freeze strike kills no matter what. Yeah, it does! Yeah, it does! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go, okay. So his swap now has to be the Fable. Has to be. If he goes into Chiu, I think that also dies to freeze dry. Funny enough. Yeah, there it is. The Fable. All right. Knackle Sack, I need you to do the most, man. I need you to do the most. Unless he double swaps on me here and then I'm screwed. This freeze dry does not do enough to go fable. Okay, he's cosmic power, so he's not. Is he stored power to fable? Is that what he is right now? That would be nasty. I'm gonna stealth rock. Okay, I I don't like this. I don't like this. I have salt cure, but I don't like this. This has to be stored power to fable. This has to be magic. Oh, yeah, he, he's definitely magic guard. He's definitely magic guard. Ah, oh, shit. He's definitely magic guard. The fable gets store power, right? 
Pretty sure it does. Gotta find out right now. Magic guard. Yep, magic guard. Uh, well, that's a wrap for your boy, I think. I don't think there's any getting out of this. That that really sucks. I have to get a crit. It does have store power. Yeah. That sucks for me, man. That sucks for me, man. I, I literally lost the Mon that I needed to win. I can't believe that. That's rough. That's rough. It was a good 3-0. I, I definitely just should have been more aware that the Victory Bell had Chlorophyll. I, I think <laughs> this guy's team is way better than people gave it credit for. Honestly. Yep, I'm dead. I live? Can I recover stall you? I got a crit. <gasps> Big. Wait, can I recover stall him? I mean, I definitely can't. I definitely can't because I only have eight recovers. But that is very funny. That is very funny. I eat that. I eat that well. How many stored powers do we have? 20? Yeah, I definitely, I definitely know what's all out here. This is what this has turned into, huh? This is what this has turned into. Oh my god. Window capture has been up the entire time. Cool. So half of this battle has been blocked. Because my window capture was up. That's so cool, man. Oh, that's infuriating. I'm deleting those right now. I cannot believe that crap. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I can't believe that. I can't believe half of that shit was up because I forgot to remove scenes. That's that's maddening. That's so maddening. I might have to get him to send me his side of the battle. I probably will have to get you I have to get him to send me his footage. That sucks. Ah, uh, he's setting up more cosmic powers because he can't kill me outright. <laughs> Uh, well, it, GG's to my opponent. It was a great match. Um, but I'm cooked. I'm absolutely cooked. There's no, there's no winning this. He has Cosmic Power, Clefabe. Good Stored Power. That's a really good set, man. That's a really good set. And he avoided my attack. Ah, dog, no! Yeah, I don't think there's any beating this. Bundle can't even handle this shit. Like, it's it's over from here for me. It's straight over. Yeah. Is there any point in playing this out? I don't think there is. He he won't run out of store powers. He's not gonna get flinched. There's there's literally nothing I can do here but click stone edges. So that's what I'm gonna do. I I'm not gonna keep stalling this out. There's no point. There's no point. <laughs> missed again yeah yeah he knows it's over knackle knows it's over it was fun while it lasted man it was fun while it lasted that's rough yeah yeah that's rough i definitely should have kept the rubber room around like i i said i should have but it is what it is what are you gonna do, you know? Uh, I don't think negatives hurt a uh, thing, does it? I don't think it matters anyway. I have to freeze dry. That, that's the correct play, always. All right. GG's to uh, Troy Specs. He, did, he got me, he got me good. Uh, I, I definitely threw against the Clefable for sure. Uh, and that's just is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, thank you for the battle dog. I'm probably gonna ask you for your footage because I fucked mine up. Yeah.